This is Ken Bruce from BBC Radio 2. You're listening to Radio JCOM in Leeds. This is your Leeds Jewish station, Radio JCOM. Hello and welcome again to Seven Day Rumble with Barbara Klein. You're listening to Radio JCOM broadcasting on the internet at www.radiojcom.com. And in the studio today, welcome back from ours, the Millets. Hi there. It's a long time since I've seen you. Yes. Well, it was November. Yeah, Mar- <laughs> Maris- right. Marissa still walk- aching from walking my hands. All oh, right, mm. okay. Mm. Okay, Inside who's going down. to start me off then? Don't well, fight amongst I yourselves. think that Go a on. very stupid thing. Go on. Live and let die, oh. D-Y-E. Uh-huh. Paul McCartney, after all this time, has decided to... Go grey, like quite. You a few mean he's gone na- natural? He's natural. gone oh natural, right. and he's dyed his hair for years. But at least he's still got some hair to dye. Well, but yeah. how absolutely? Uh, he looks like a an old man, which is probably <laughs> what he is. But you know, I just yeah. thought I'd throw that one in. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm on about. Are you going to be serious? Oh uh, well, serious, stupid, if you like. Yeah. Go on. Then. Stupid world we live in. Gatwick Airport. Hopes to test a fleet of valet parking robots to ease the hassle for holidaymakers looking for parking spaces. Mm. You'll uh, leave your car to drop off zone and summon a droid book, v- booked via an app, and a battery powered robot will roll up and slide a forklift style ramp yeah. under the car. Yeah. Really clever. And what if it misses it? <laughs> yeah, what if it takes it out to get one? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. talking about cars, I've got two things here. One is. Uh, number one car colour, a nifty shade of grey. Oh, I hate it. How Do you know that up? you can't really see grey cars? I think they're very dangerous. A bit like cats all in the dark. Yeah. Well, I, I have to tell you, dangerous. I have a white car, and I think... There's so many Sorry of them about now. It. No, mm. it's not just that. A white car driven by a woman is invisible. I always find that gentlemen drive out on me or... Uh, no, no. The reality is the o- the only idiot, the only one who isn't an idiot on the road is you behind the steering wheel. Oh, okay. okay. And the other car thing is, what about elderly drivers and the prince? Philip? Well, what, we're in the era of denial, aren't we? Yeah. You know, at six, 93, he hits somebody and he's not bad. That is 97, nearly 98. Oh, he's sorry. Na- he's 98 shortly. Yeah. And mm. the thing is that the the woman who's got a broken arm says Philip should be prosecuted like anybody else. And Number he th- should. I don't think he should be sending flowers. I think that's not where it should. I think that's a piece from. of contempt. What about the, her dam- her injury? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Well, has he sent flowers? I think no. Like, no, he hasn't. He hasn't done anything. No, one of the courtiers did on his or behalf. Or apologize. Mm. No, that was to the driver, not to no. the woman with the broken arm. Oh right. No. Oh, I see. Oh, they but, don't count. It's just no. one of the peasants, yeah, but, isn't it? You know. Yeah. If you, but, I mean, two things. One, it, well, he says that the the low sun and, and dazzled actually, him, and I can understand it. That I can understand. Yeah. But not to wear a seatbelt. Is he above the law? Yes. No, you can, no, you can't get a dispensation. In fairness, can you? So not wear seatbelts. Taxi drivers don't but wear if you, if and lorry drivers, lorry but, drivers, but an ordinary driver. The Queen doesn't. Yes, she can get dispensation. Oh. However, However, if it was you or me who'd caused the accident yeah, exactly. and, and driven off, you'd be uh, arrested by the police. Mm. Your insurance would be invalid. There'd be a compensation Absolutely. claim against you. Absolutely. You prob- didn't drive off there, Ronnie. He I couldn't understand. drive off, Lauren, because no, he was didn't upside down and right, right. right off. off. Right. No. Oh, no, 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 no. He didn't drive off. Oh, well, fair enough. Just staying no, on... we're sticking out for him. No, no, I'm not. That. I think it's shocking. But this is quite... I mean, I don't normally buy the Daily Express, but this morning when I decided this was my paper, okay. having brought back the um, the London newspaper, the Evening Standard, last night. I'm going to pick a few things out of that if we get time. But front page headline is victims of 999 cops carnage oh. and three women mm-hmm. have been killed in the last two days by policemen rushing to the scenes of crimes or car chasing or car chasing well. yeah. one of the yeah. car chases yeah i think that's horrific it is horrific maybe they were rushing to a stabbing or yeah. a violent robbery fine yeah, but these women have done nothing no, that's nothing true. at all and I think wrong place, horrific. wrong time, wrong place, wrong time. But yeah. three, mm. yeah. I think yeah. we need to actually look at this. And the other thing that I wanted to pick up 
mm. was for those of you who bank at a certain bank on Street Lane. Okay. It's about to close. It's yes. one of those that has been oh, it. One of the, was it one of the 140 Santander. Indeed, they yes. blame changes in consumer behaviour for its cold. Uh -huh. The number of transactions carried out at branches has fallen by 23% in the past three years, uh -huh. while activity online and on mobile phones has risen by 99%. Yeah. Nearly doubled. Really, you'd, um, how are you going to draw out £100 on your uh, mobile? Well... <laughs> Well, yeah. it can because what they'll have they'll have cash machines where everywhere they're everywhere. Well, you can. Yes, in, you in can. Supermarket, they're outside everywhere. Supermarkets, they're in supermarkets. Yeah. They're outside they're over cinemas. For all they're just. Cards. They're yeah. just. But having everywhere. said that, the other thing about that is it's closing. That's another empty shop in our local area, which may well unfortunately become another charity shop exactly. or a food shop. Exactly. Or you mean a food bank? <laughs> A food bank. No, no, no. The oh. food That's what it should be. The, but, um, well, no, no, not. Who knows? They're not. They're not in the open. They're not they're visual. Bit, no, no, not um, at all. But no, that's a no, the street lane. It, it, you know, or yes, or or a coffee shop or something like it that. It could be food. Yeah, that's what they normally. Do are. you know there's two hundred and sixty thousand school-aged children in England th that are thought to suffer from de depression? Yeah, it's about that's three percent. It. Yeah. And that at the moment, yes. The did you see on the television the father talking about mm, Facebook I or did. whatever that? I did. And I what's our you, health what's authority's that? response? Children as young as five with depression should be offered therapy via apps on smartphones and computers. Yeah. What a five-year-old with a smartphone? Yep. That's what they're saying. That's that's what. But you know, we're not. Cool. There are, I, I, there are children of that age with. Um, iPads, smartphones, or whatever. But I, I well, don't the know question was which comes first, the smartphone or the depression? Yeah. Because well, here I've got father accused Instagram yeah. of contributing to a teen, teenager's is, suicide. This is the fourteen-year-old. This year is a fourteen-year-old yep. that we were yep. talking this about. Week, yeah. Mm. Had no obvious signs of severe mental health, yep. and was reading stuff about suicide yep. and all that, and yep. it just and dragged, self harm and everything, and it yep. just dragged her in. Yeah. Shall we do our yeah. bit of our health bit? Go on then. Okay, women who regularly eat deep fried chicken or fish and chips are risking their lives. The BMJ has studied 107,000 women aged between 50 and 79 and their consumption of food such as chicken, da 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 da. Daily fried chicken eaters saw a 13% risk of, of uh, not making it from any cause and a 12% greater chance of heart-related death but or cancer. It's not the chicken. It's, it's the, the fat. Frying, isn't it? It's so the fat. That goes with it's anything. how you eat your food, isn't it? Yeah. It's the fat. Mm. In the pan and on their bodies. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, then that's... again, married couples over 60 are healthier and wealthier than their unmarried peers. Well, yes, I read that as well. Yeah. Yeah. 20,000 people in England and the US found that trying the yes. tying the knot was linked to improved yes. physical abilities. Well, absolutely, because they get looked after, these men. Well, I was going to say... Uh. <laughs> I was going to well say, done. I was oh, going to no. say, it's because it's, cause it's the, it's the women picking up the clothes of the man and tidying up after them. That's and, it's, and it's yeah. the men doing it, do it yourself and getting the pots from the top shelf. Oh, yes, but also you've got to remember that I'm seeing more and more men in the kitchen. I'm oh, hearing now, it. With all these cookery programs yeah, on we the get television. In the way? We well, get do you know way? what you can do now? I, I'm, we've actually been in London and um, my son cooked for us in mm. his new kitchen and he orders <coughs> the dinner and we had like a salmon with various bits and bats with it and everything comes oh, right. you order it and it's on your doorstep it's called gusto isn't it it's called gusto and you actually get there I think you come are, home there, I think there are other there is there are so yeah we're not advertising things. but there's a piece of card like that that comes yeah. with it and it's got everything down to what you do yeah. and when you do it For our and what you are. Leslie add. is describing it on the table. I am, <laughs> and I have to say, we had a delicious salmon we dinner. Had two. We had two. Yeah. It's a sort of flat flat pack for chefs. Right. <laughs> I mean, you've got to chop your own vegetables, but everything is weighed out, and you know, if you so, need a cube or so you need did, a. Bit of... So it's actually done for you. No, you've In got to words. chop up your vegetables, you've oh, got to slice your it, salmon, you've I got see. to do everything, okay. but it gives you the um, the run right. of it. So okay. this is it, you're at now. Well, 
you know, we've we've actually come to no. our music bit. And what I was going to say to you, we've got, I've got a couple of obituaries here. Windsor Davis, do you remember him? The booming voice of Sergeant Major Williams in it. Yeah. Snudgy. It half Wasn't he called half. Snudgy? No, no. Smudgy. Mm. I don't know, yeah. but it's just here, Battery Sergeant Major Williams, it's 88 brilliant. he was. Good and lad. Carol Channing, 97. Oh, really, the actress? The original Laurel Eiley in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes and Dolly Levi in Hello, Hello Dolly. Dolly. And we're going to have a little bit of Carol Channing this morning. A kiss on the hand may be quite continental, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. A kiss may be grand, but it won't pay the rental on your humble flat or help you at the automat. Men grow cold as girls grow old, and we all lose our charms in the end. But square cut or pear shape, these rocks don't lose their shape. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. There may come a time when a lass needs a lawyer, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. There may come a time when a hard-boiled employer thinks you're awful nice, but get that ice or else no dice. He's your guy when stocks go high, but beware when they start to descend. It's then that those louses go back to their spouses. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Stash those rocks in your strong box, for on them you can always depend. It's not compensation, it's self-preservation. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Romance is divine, and I'm not one to knock it, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. Romance is divine, yes, but where can you hock it when the flame is gone? Just try and pawn a tired or sires they're such doggone liars diamonds are a girl's best friend time rolls on and youth is gone and you can't straighten up when you bend but stiff back or stiff knees you stand straight at tiffany's diamonds are a girl's best don't mean rhinestones Diamonds 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 are a girl's best friend The unique voice of Carol Channing And she sounded the same when she spoke She did, indeed Absolutely She was smoking 60 fags a day that did it (laughs) Probably (laughs) The only thing I can say, Ronnie Is that you could hear every word that she sang Well, that's right And and the words were great, as Ronnie said Yes Actually, I've got a great hand That's got a a similar crisp voice Okay Mm. Right You said you had something to Yeah, well, most of mine are about uh, Human frailty Stupidity and Brexit. Sub, substandard behaviour. Oh. Rearrange into a well-known phrase. Do you know, Brexit. Do you know, at the moment, if a woman is raped and she has a child, as that child grows up, the rapist has access, potential access rights yes. to the upbringing of that child? Yeah. Well, that's what yes. the murderer is serving time for. I um, can't remember his name now. Yeah. His daughter, he, mm. he has found... She has found out who her father is. Yeah. Yeah. Ashid Hussain, appropriate name, who was one of the Rotherham rapists, mm. was offered um, involvement in the upbringing of the offspring of a woman, a, so, a below-age woman, 
uh, he raped mm. at the age of 15 and she's yeah. a, she'd gone public and objected. Yeah, I was just going to say she objected. The, M the, M she, yes. the MPs are now going to change the law. But you would think that officials of the local authority would use some common sense and say, hang on, this is not the intention of the law. Don't offer it. If, it, if he doesn't like him, let him contact us. And meanwhile, we talk to our, our MPs. But here, they've just but followed, they've, you And know. they've gone public with it, so now that... No, they, she's gone public. If they said yeah, to no, the... she's had to, because yeah. of... But if, they, if you said to these officials, uh, the rules say you must walk down the road and jump into the river air, mm. would they do it? It's mm. such nonsense. Mm. I get angry. <laughs> yes, and um, also you've got to think, think of the child as well. Well, that's so right. About, so, yeah. what about Prince William this week? Go on then. What about Prince William? Who with David with with the, David Attenborough? Attenborough he yes. interviewed David Attenborough at the World Economic Forum in mm -hmm. Davos. Mm -hmm. um, I think that was quite wonderful of Prince William. I didn't. Call, maybe he's following in his father's sort of footsteps because his father has always been an environmentalist. Oh yes, always. Yeah. I think history will show that Prince Charles actually was. Uh, Great, really great. He was concerned about architecture, yep. environment, yep. Or all this sort but of I, thing. But I think we, when I say we, the world or whatever, we as people, I think are beginning to understand him and like him better. Despite the, the work of the press, yeah. the denigrating. Yeah. An interesting yeah. little bit here. It said, um, normally friendly relations with the Queen only became frosty on one occasion with... David Attenborough, when Sir David was producing her annual Christmas broadcast for television, mm. Her Majesty took exception to being awkwardly informed by Attenborough that she needed to change her dress as he, <laughs> due to it clashing with the wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was absolutely well, true. Yes, I, I can imagine the Queen saying, tell you what, change the wallpaper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got ten yeah. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> But very interesting. Yes. From the humorous ha ha to the humorous ridiculous. Oh, you remember the great speech that uh, Boris Johnson made that was a pitch, mm -hmm. pitch at the JCB factory, a 25 mm -hmm. minute pitch? Mm -hmm. He stood in front of a branded digger and he said, It's fantastic to discover you've sold nearly 750,000 backhoes to over 150 countries because of JCB's relentless technological innovation, etc., etc. The Times, not caring about about legal writs and so on, mm. uh, started the article saying, by saying, Boris Johnson received a £10,000 donation from JCB three days before giving a Brexit speech at its headquarters. Ah. Is this corrupt or is it not corrupt? Well, he's, not, he's, on, he's, on, he's on the... Um, he's on the list. He's, uh, yes. he's on the He's make. on the circuit. No, he's, he's on, on the, the circuit. circuit. He's on the a, bit yeah, like well. Miss, a bit like David Davis, who got a grand, a one-year contract for £60,000, and he says for about 20 hours of work in the year. Well, you know, they're all following in the footsteps of those who've travelled before them. What about as long as he declares Tony, it, Tony Blair? Now, we don't know that? that he hasn't done no, anything I'd, wrong. I I'd, think that's no. It's a, it's a hidden. It's a hidden donation, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Don't tell me he's going to. Is that a euphemism? Euphemism mm. donation? No, it's quite open. Yeah, to the party. If that was. Yeah, it might be personal. Well, we don't know, do we? So I'm not going to swap over and get the uh, Daily no, Express. No, I thought you wanted to talk about we, the dreaded word Brexit. Was well, that or not? Yes. Why do you th why do you think that um, the Hoover Company man is moving his headquarters oh. to Singapore? Dyson. Dyson, not Hoover. I didn't. The Ho what is the Hoover to me? Oh. As in, you mean a vacuum, it's a generic Hoover's name. Vacuum cleaner. It's a yes. Hoover is actually a name. Hey, I've got his name. I'm and just I, actually finding Mr. Dyson. Mr. Dyson. I was Dyson. actually looking for the yeah. article. Yes. Because in the Evening yeah. Standard, they had the most wonderful cartoon oh, right. of the Dyson yeah. sucking everything up and oh. him running to Singapore, which I thought was absolutely yeah. Yeah. There, was well, another says, there was another one of it blowing the money out. Well, it says, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you know who the editor is of uh, the Evening Standard? It's yes, George, it is. George Osborne. George Osborne, absolutely. Yeah. But, uh, but interesting. There's a similar so you haven't answered the question, well, why do you think he's going? 
Why? He says it's nothing to do with Brexit. Rubbish. That's right. Number one, number one, you know what the, the Singaporeans are like. Mm. They're much more precise and accurate in what they do. Their financial regulations are sharper. Um, and everything's better. Yes. Which is why we've got, in that part of Asia, we've got, we drive Japanese and South Korean cars, don't we? We do. Yes. So I want to just do something, and I know we're heading into another section later yes. on in the programme. But it, I'm actually, as I say, I'm in the Evening Standard yesterday, which obviously is a free paper now, yeah. which is quite okay. interesting. But Rachel Riley oh, right, from, spent yeah, Christmas Day watching issue. six yeah. hours of documentaries about anti-Semitism oh, right, yes. as she continues her fight against what she says is a national scandal. Mm. She's told a Holocaust Educational Trust reception, I've been called a hypocrite, lying propagandist, da 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 She's a non-religious Jew, but interestingly, it comes out. It does. You indeed. can't get away from it. No. I think what's happened is that the criticism that was just occasional at first sparked her into looking into her heritage mm. and, dis and discovering how awful yeah. this. Sub and it's on the left, but it's also on the right as well. What she said is, no one should have to risk their safety and jeopardise their career speaking out against anti-Semitism in Britain in 2019. Yeah. Or ever, actually. Yeah, well, well, she's, absolutely. She's, she's the here and now. She's making sure that she... And she actually um, did something on Countdown. Mm -hmm. Well, I hate to admit it, but it's the women who have got the balls in this area. Well, J.K. Rowling's another. Yes. Very outspoken. Sh very yeah. outspoken. And there's very the American witty. lady who uh, brought the case against the Holocaust denier. Yes. Mm. Um, oh, if we can remember her name. Lipstadt. Lipstadt. She's oh, just right, brought, yeah. brought a new book out this week. Yeah. Has she? We, we, she has. We, heard, we heard her speak at Limud two years ago. Oh, we did. Right, yes. Very yes. feisty lady. Yes. Feisty lady. Yes. But she's, no, she's, she's there. She's letting everybody know yes. what's happening in the world. Well... Meanwhile, yeah, we meanwhile, have more. Back at the ranch. Meanwhile, we have more sub stupidity. Three-year jail for a fugitive who filmed himself driving at 180 miles an hour. What a madman! In his Porsche Carrera Turbo. Any point? He posted it on social media. And did he wonder why he got? Yeah. Uh, why can't what? we just put a um, a restrainer on? Actually, on vehicles to stop them going. Oh, that would interfere thing. with your personal freedom. But why don't we? I just can't work it out. Why are there cars that go that, that, go speed? that Which is fast. fair enough. They, if they produce well, actually, it's racing... Not fair. It's not fair enough. No, for racing, OK, but for our roads. Yeah. And if you notice, every single... I've noticed now, every single side road is now a 20-mile... Well, that's also hour. nonsense. Why? Some... some because it's taking about, and this is what's missing, people's common sense and judgment. Some roads you wouldn't go go 15 miles an hour. Others warrant 30 quite easily. And side roads, no, I'm... I'm so we're now all 20 miles an hour, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, the, whole of, the it, whole of all Woodley. Mm, well, everywhere in Leeds. The whole street lane, every single... It's mad. I think it's every North single, Leeds. Uh, yes, North Leeds. Every mm. single side road is a 20 mile. But uh, doesn't it so, make... Suddenly, 100 years of speed, s speed limit judgments, wrong. Well, I don't know. Practice. Doesn't it make you aware of speed? You mean if the you... way advertise? You mean the way uh, public advertising on on smoking and uh, no and singles and single sex? Uh, sorry, not single sex. Unmarried uh, sex and their offspring no. has been dealt with. Doesn't no. work. Barbara, I think you missed something yesterday. Did I? Oh, no, it's today. Oh, I'm in no. the Express. Go on. Your favourite person, Neil no. Diamond. Oh, yes. He's oh. 78. I was going to today. say to you, he's... Yeah, I knew you could that. have played him as well, you know. I knew that, and I mm. was having a conversation with Noel about it. I said, either we have my favourite, or we'll go for something completely different. And I was I going to the completely tell you different. some other little snippet. Go on. He went to school with Barbara Streisand. Oh, right. OK, there you My go. My other favourite. Your strange. other favourite person. He My was. other favourite So I'm really, you know, I'm bringing you up to speed here. Thank you. With your favourites. With my favourites, yeah. Um, yeah, we're moving on to this weekend. 
uh, which uh, on Monday when this programme goes out, it will be over, is Holocaust <coughs> Memorial Day. And I have the most wonderful obituary story here. A, a gentleman called Georges Langier, uh, who has just died, aged 108. Oh, wow. He was, or oh, he's a Jew who saved over a thousand children by some Im Im amazing stories. In fact, Presumably he, he's French. Uh, he was, uh, no, actually, from po he's Polish. He's Polish. Um, he uh, was said to be breathtaking, daring, cool-headed, cunning, and with sheer chutzpah. What he did was uh, things like he, he dressed children up. He found out if there was a... Um, um, a funeral um, in a church and he dressed the families up as as members of the congregation and then when the family moved out uh, in you know over the border the families went with that he arranged that he also arranged football matches where the ball was accidentally kicked <coughs> kicked over the fence and he sent the children to collect the ball and half the children did not return so they were free. Absolutely well, free. Right, but, well, uh, no, but he, ma he managed no. to, to get them. And he did the most wonderful thing. The stories, it, it really is worth reading. He was appointed a commander of the Légion d'honneur, and he was also made an officer of Germany's own order of merit. So even they um, rewarded him as well. And also, I'd like to talk about... Um, the five adults and one child, the remains that were buried in Bushy um, this week. Um, uh, and it's said that there will be some survivors who will now, because they were unknown, unknown will go there and, and sort of think, this could be my family. And that's the end of today's programme. Thank you so much for coming in. You've been listening to 7 Day Ramble on Radio JCOM, broadcasting on the internet at www.radiojcom.com. The programme today was produced by Noel Sumroy and presented by me, Barbara Klein. I do hope you'll join us again next week. <laughs>